in the lead up to the Arnold Australia, which obviously was sadly cancelled, um, I was checking because yep. you were about to make your pro debut and I was watching all your, uh, looking at all your progress pictures and I was thinking, shit, this guy's really good. I mean, maybe you might not made top three because, you know, the big names usually op- occupy those spaces at the shows like the Arnold Australia, but I thought this guy's going to make a splash, you know, even if he doesn't get top three, he's going to do well. And then obviously um, we had uh, we had Tony Doherty on oh. and he explained the whole story about how, how the show was cancelled, how he went ahead with it. Um, yeah. So so tell us because um, obviously you're yet to make your pro debut. Tell us tell us how that tell us how that affected you and uh, you know tell us about that. Look, I, I think it definitely put a little bit of a downer on things because it was such a good prep as well. It was obviously mm-hmm. my pro debut the year before. I got my pro card for winning the overall at the 2019 Arnold Classic Amateur here in Australia. Um, so the lead up and the prep was just spot on. It was perfect. I was the heaviest that I'd been. I'd be getting, I just, this was probably the first year where I really started to kind of come into my own in, in, in terms of conditioning as well. I started to get that really yeah. thin skin, kind of grainy look, which I haven't had. So yeah. I'm 30 years old now. And I think it's, it's honestly taken until now yeah. was the first time I really kind of see that quality to the muscle. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I wouldn't say that it was diet. I wouldn't say that it was training. I think it's just years that that, that kind of gave me that look. Mm. Um, and it was the first time that I was bringing that. So everyone in my in my crew, in my camp was really excited because it was the best that I've ever been. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like I said, the prep was an absolute dream all the way up. And it was probably a week um, before I think I spoke to Tony and Tony just kind of <laughs> No. Just kind of let, yeah, just, oh. look, well, you know what in my mind though i thought the worst case scenario would have been the same situation that happened in columbus ohio yeah i thought that we, yeah and that was in my mind i thought okay that is the worst um case scenario that's i just set that up so i thought 100 percent right. repeating um only because that only that was probably uh what was it 14 days or something before the Australia or a week or whatever. Yeah. I mean, what, yeah. when I got to, when I got to Columbus, I landed in, um, where was it? I forget where it was. One of the American countries, uh, Detroit or something. And, uh, I got, I turned my phone on and they were like, the can the expos cancel. I was like, no, I was like, I thought people were joking. <laughs> And then obviously, yeah. as I mean, as I was there, I was there for five days and literally we were getting updates from hour to hour and it was just shocking news after shocking news. So, yeah. so obviously with the, the Arnold Australia one week after the Columbus, Ohio Arnold, it was like, it was like, I can't imagine. So when did you start getting an inkling that it was, might, that it might go tits up? Oh, no, honestly, I think probably um, maybe five days before the, before the show, that was when I spoke to Tony and he, and he said, look, yeah. I'm not 100% what's going to happen he said but you know i think that there may be a possibility because he said the expo was definitely called off yeah uh, and he said look be prepared he said i'm not 100 percent sure what's going to happen here hmm. if they did start to um go down the way of which they did eventually uh, with the flight and things like that i think that was obviously a huge risk that tony just couldn't take like i understand 100 percent why yeah. everything had to go and it did, but it was literally. So we were that last week. If the, I reckon, if we were, put, <laughs> if we were pushed back one week before, we yeah. would have been fine. Did I'm you, saying. did you not try and get an invite to the actual Arnold Classic in a Columbus, or was you just purely just the Arnold Australia you were going to make your pro debut at? Yeah, I think the that was the biggest thing for me is because I wanted to get on stage in front of my home crowd, my family and friends yeah, in Australia. Yeah. No travel. Yeah. And that's why I kind of want to, you know, for the debut. I just thought that that would be ideal for everyone that knows yeah. me to come and see me. Um, so yeah, and, and then it w- probably wasn't until literally, um, a few days before that's when Tony said, look, it's, you know, it's off. And yeah. I was, yeah, I w- it was very hard to, when I, when he first told me, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> it was called off. And then I think once it actually sunk in, it was just like, fuck, you know, everything, that whole prep, how yeah. well it all went. And obviously a 20 week prep, it's, you put so much into it, whether it's work, family commitments, everything kind of gets put on hold yeah. or, you know is pushed to the side to fit into this bodybuilding lifestyle. So that was a 20 week prep. Yeah, that was a 20 week prep. <laughs> yeah.